Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Big Bear Comics Presents. Uh, I'm going to try to list something a little different now. Um, I'm going to still do the auctions every Saturday night, 10 p.m. on the YouTube channel Blast It or Stash It. Uh, but I want to try to get some generated uh, sales to my eBay store. So uh, this video is to showcase some of my inventory that I have up. I have a promotion going on right now where you can buy two comics and get one free. Yep, all you have to do is uh, shop my store, select three books you would like, and eBay would automatically take the lowest book off and give it to you free. For example, you buy a $10 book, you buy an $8 book, you buy a $7 book. Uh, you will get the $7 book absolutely free, and you just pay for the other two, and I'll ship them all together. Um, and if you, little, if you leave me a comment, in the uh, sales invoice, I will uh, and telling me that you're from YouTube and and I check to see if you're subscribed to me. If you are, I'll throw in another book, absolutely free on top of that. So um, so check my stuff out. Well, that sounded weird. All right. <laughs> okay. So um, here's some of the books I have in my store. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 140. Uh, this actually does have a first appearance. This has a first appearance of uh, Gloria Grant. And she is a secretary for the Daily Bugle. Uh, I guess she was first a neighbor of Peter Parker and he got her a job. And I'm not sure if she's a, still an ongoing character or not, but um, this is her first appearance. This is a nice presenting book. This is... Uh, about an 8.0 it does have one big uh, major uh, flaw it does have a color breaking large crease that goes from here to here I don't know if you can pick that up or not yeah there it is and a little bit of soiling on the back cover but that can be cleaned out no moisture damage or anything like that uh, nice interior pages I'll show you a couple here. Off white to white. And fully intact. And this book uh, I have in my store for 15 bucks. Like I said, you buy this one and another $15 book, you can get another $15 book free. Alright, so I have here, speaking of a, like a $15 book, this is about, I have it in my store for around 14 this is Flash um, issue uh, 158. It has the uh, Breakaway Bandit story. So we have a um, Silver Age Flash book here. It does have uh, color breaking corner crease, as you can see. Uh, a little bit of spine stress. Corners are not completely sharp. But the book still presents pretty well. And show you the back. You can see again some light soiling on the top, but lays nice and flat as you can see. A little ding in the corner, but you know this is a book from the 60s, so it's going to have a little bit of uh, issues. And you can see the page quality there. All right, so that book is uh, in the $14 range in my store. Next we have, uh, for all those sappy lover boys out there who can't get enough of their soap operas, um, here's a book for you. <laughs> this is a Complete Love Magazine, number 185 from 1955. Yep, and it has those sappy love stories in it. But back in the 50s, these were a hot seller. I mean, this is, uh, this is their soap opera back then, was reading this stuff. Um, as you can see, it does have spine ticks, but the it's a photo cover and it still presents really well for a book this old. And I'll show you some interior art. You can see there, off white to white pages. On that, the book is fully attacked, attached, attacked. <laughs> it has a little bit of uh, dirtiness on top. That's not a moisture stain. Those are a uh, little bit of soiling on top. You can see inside some of the uh, 
cool ads back then. We have a girl in her underwear and it's a comfo guard. Yep. Whatever the hell that is. Safety protection. <laughs> and it's only a dollar ninety eight for two. Sign me up. Alright. We got Yep. I know. As soon as you see the picture. Yes, that is Bill Cosby. <laughs> this is I Spy number three from 1967. The television show was a, uh, I hear, I never saw it because I was, well, let's see, 67. I wasn't even born yet. So, because uh, I was born in 68, so this is before my time. This is the uh, young Bill Cosby. And this is his television show that he was in called I Spy. This book ha is a nice book. It just it does have a, a sun shadow here on the spine, and a sun shadow in the corner, and on the back on the bottom edge there's a sun shadow also. But besides that, this book is uh, really in nice condition in between six and a half and seven point oh. You can see nice nice corners there presents really well and we have a pinup cover of Bill Cosby that you can use to throw darts at if you want to uh, it's up to you <laughs> and your discretion of what you do with this book after you purchase it from me but still though that's a young Bill Cosby and it's a nice photo pinup yep alrighty Moving on, and that one I have for sale, it's a uh, $16 for that book. I've seen them a lot higher and a lot worse grade, selling for more, so pick that up. Like I said, you buy two, get one free. That could be your free one. Up next is a uh, Silver Age uh, Fantastic Four 77. Not really a key bush, key bush, a key book. <laughs> um... It's got Jack Kirby art, and it's got Mr. Stan Lee story. So, you can't get better than that. Um, we have a Galactus appearance. We have a Silver Surfer appearance. And I believe this guy is called Psycho Man. Yep, Psycho Man. So this book I would grade between a 4.5 and, and a 5. It does have some light corner wear up there. A little bit of edge wear, but the main subject of the book is not creased and it looks, it pops still. It's still a nice looking book. I'll show you the back cover. And so you've got a little bit of soiling on top. Again, that can be cleaned. And there is a, uh, about a half inch, three quarter inch tear along the edge right here. Which lowers it down to about, you know, four and a half or so and show you some artwork here there you go nice nice one to select right there with the thing and um, Reed Richards okay so that book I have in my store for 20 bucks pick that up all right so ahoy mateys this is Steve Steve. This is, see, I make myself crack up here. I have to say a word three times before I get it right. Sometimes, just dare, just, just bear with me, no pun intended. Okay, we've got uh, Sea Devils number 12. And look at that cover, folks. Now that is something you don't see every day. That is a, an awesome horror type cover with this strange looking creature that's smashing boats and whatnot. I mean if you love the uh, weird and uh, horror stuff Sea Devils is an underrated title and this is a nice shape one as you could see. Not, I mean the corners are clean there is some spine wear but it's small you can barely notice it. There are some spine ticks but the way this book presents I mean, this presents really well. 
and I'll show you the back on that. You can see the back is really nice. Let's see that. I'm going to show you some of the artwork inside. Look at that. Almost white pages. I would say that is white pages. You're getting yourself a nice copy here. And that book uh, is between, I believe that's book I'm selling for between $12 and $14 on my store. Uh, we also we got back, uh, we got Jungle Book, we got Mowgli. Uh, the, this is a painted color a cover by an artist named Gullib. His last name is Gullib. Or if I'm screwing that up, somebody let me know. Um, this is four color number 620 from Dell Comics, 1955 Golden Age book. And again, besides some light spine stress and wear, this is a beautiful conditioned book. And look at that painted cover. Just check out this wolf. Isn't that, and this is painted. Look at the detail on that. This is amazing artwork. You know, this guy didn't have a, back in 1955, this guy didn't have a computer or nothing to help him with it. He just drew it on his own. That is just amazing. And this book is in great shape. Let me show you the back. Back cover is pretty good too. Alright, so this is a nice high grade book. So, you know, it is a... If, you, uh, if your children uh, became fans of The Jungle Book by seeing the movie, which was a success, this is a good book to get, get, you know, get for them. As long as, you, uh, as long as they're careful with it and you uh, keep the value, you know, they don't play with it and rip it and destroy it. But if they're careful with their books, that's a good one to get them. All right, speaking of children's books, this is, uh, it brings back me to being a kid again. Are you kidding me? This is Bullwinkle and Rocky. I really didn't care for that squirrel. He was annoying. He was an annoying friend. And we all have that. But Bullwinkle was the man. Alright? He was a big oaf, but he had the biggest heart in the world. And kind of reminds me of myself. So that's why I guess I related to Bullwinkle. <laughs> I love this color. Look at how that pops. The purples and the yellows and the oranges. I mean, this is so cool. And just check out the book condition here. Look at that edge. Look at that edge. For a 40, you know, this is a 1979 book. And the condition is just amazing for a kid's book. Has a little ding, tiny, tiny ding here in the corner. It does break color. And it shows more on the back cover as also. And see, you can see the little ding there, but the rest of the back cover is lace flat, tight, clean. Let's see, and let's see if I can show you a few pages here. Look at that, white pages. Beautiful white pages. Cool artwork, funny stories. <laughs> And I only have this book up for twelve sixty, and for the condition that's in, you're not going to find something like that very easily in that high of a grade. So it's only twelve dollars and sixty cents for that book. It's a Bullwinkle number twenty one. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, last book I have that's raw is uh, Batman one twenty nine. This one has the first appearance of the Spinner, and I think the only appearance of the Spinner. Because he was a silly character that they just conjured up. And yeah, that's the spinner. And he has a helicopter hat on. Yeah, if you just figures he's not going to last very long. Look at that silly costume and silly character. So he's got a Batgirl on his big spinning wheel because he's the spinner. Woo! All right, so this book here, as you can see, is a, a 10 center, 1960. So it is an older, it's eight years older than I am. It does have that dreaded subscription crease that goes all the way down to the bottom of the book. And it's got another crease here that breaks color. Some color, you know, some corner wear. 
but uh, all the staples, you know, some spine stress, but book is uh, completely attached to the spine and you see the pages are definitely an off-white you can see some of the weird our weird storyline here of the spinner I guess he travels in a big top I don't know or is he just that's him just spinning around here anyway that's pretty funny as he smacks into the Batmobile this story is old the book is old but um, it's collectible still condition and I'm asking $32 on that old boy. All right. Um, going to show some graded books. Now my offer stands for all graded books as well. Can you uh, believe that? You can buy this book here for $98. This is uh, The Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, number one. Actually, uh, it's number 17, but it's the first numbered uh, issue. First issue numbering, so it is a, like a number one. And Sing Chi might uh, be a character on Iron Fist Netflix show. Hopefully he is. Hopefully, hopefully. And this is also a first appearance of Blackjack. This is a CBCS 9.4. I've shown this before, but I'm showing it again. It's in my store at a, at a very reasonable price. You could buy this book for $98. You could buy, for instance. Along with that, you could buy this Star Wars book for $75. And you can get a book up to $75 free. Any book. Any other graded book that's $75 or less, you will get that absolutely free. So imagine just saving $70 on, on a book. Now that's why I would you know take advantage of this while I have it. If you find anything you do like. This is Star Wars number one. This is the sixth print. Underneath that white cover is a green cover. This is a 9.8 CBCS graded book. Can't get much better than that, folks. And um, the last one that sold, sold for uh, 80 bucks, and uh, I have mine for 75. So I believe that that's a good deal because this can only go up. Uh, last but not least, like for instance, you could get this book for free if you wanted it. Baby Snoots number 18. <laughs> CBCS 9.4. Gold Key. Cartoon book. It's got Uptight Mouse and it's got Mr. Baby Snoots on the cover. This is an old children's book, high grade. Once again, you know, it's hard to find these children's books in high grade because, you know, as when I was a kid, I didn't take care of them. I don't know if you did or not, but. Most of them, you know, were destroyed. So this is one of the few that were not destroyed. So I have that in my book by itself for only 60 bucks. But you can get it free if you buy the other two. Or you could, you know, mix and match whatever you want. I have over 550 things in my store. Uh, do some shopping. If you like something, great. And um, don't forget to mention uh, your YouTube channel name on the invoice. If you do plan on buying something, I'll even throw in another book. Uh, just some random book, but something you might enjoy. But it's free. You can't beat that. So anyway, um, with that, this is Big Bear signing out.